As we discussed through our Thursday meetings, what the destruction of the Babri Mosque meant for modern India, what it meant for us, and what it specifically meant for artists, we came up with this broadside, which is actually a kind of mapping of the discussions that we had. I found this site on the riverbank. It was a great medieval assemblage. There were mosques, there were Sikh gurdwaras, there were temples. It was celebrating that mixed tradition of architecture and restoring it, standing completely contrary to the kind of destruction which had happened not very far from this site. The second part of our Ayodhya initiative was actually the performance event called Muktnad. Mukt is free, Nad is sound. So it was free sound. And what we did not realize is that uh, the mosque had been demolished the previous December. This was the following August. Nobody had actually entered Ayodhya. People who had been so scared of coming to the site of that city, and we hadn't realized this. You know, we arrive en masse on trains, on buses from across India with our music instruments, our drums, our street theater groups, our, you know, and oddly, the so-called secular government, they tried to prevent us from holding this program. So we said, we can't stop these people now. They're already on the way, thousands of them. So we are having, we're going ahead with the program. The majoritarian communal forces decided that they have to take us head on. So they said to all the temples, and Ayodhya has hundreds of them, to start non-stop prayer that will go on the whole night. And that the prayers should be broadcast on loudspeakers. So their idea was they wanted to drown our sound. Except that they, they were not prepared for the kind of sound that we were carrying with us. 50,000 watts of sound. They disconnected uh, electricity. We had taken a standby generator. Then they ran away with the wires. So I had to rush down to Fezabad at breakneck speed. And I was still on, on a crutch. We began with Nehru's famous speech at the midnight, at the hour, of the midnight hour, when the rest of the world, the world sleeps, is asleep, India, India awakes. And there were music, performances, dance, you know, the whole night long. Many of the artists said that this was one of the most exciting and moving sites that they had ever performed in and they were greatly inspired. It's on the river banks where people go for ritual bathing. So as the sun rose, you had all these people who were coming for their ritual bath who became part of the performance. And then we met some of these priests of these temples who had given up their effort of fighting us, came back and sat down there and listened to the concert the whole night. Then they said, thank you very much for having come here because, you know, you provided us the kind of music and experience that we would never have had. You know, this was not something which was anti-religious. You know, we were talking sense, we were talking of brotherhood, we were talking of people living together. And, and they joined us. <laughs> 